Hey guys, it's Tara. Welcome back. I haven't done a favourites in a long time, so come in, sit down, grab your cup of tea, and let's get straight into it. Little sub favourite just before we start because I know you guys are going to ask. Yes, the little sign in the background is new. It says love and it's really pretty. It's a little light up sign and believe it or not, I got it from Primark slash Pennies. I kind of started calling it Primark now that I've been in Northern Ireland for a few years. But yeah, I thought it was really affordable. I think they were about 20 euro. Should still be in some stores. They did sell out pretty quick in the one in Cork. But I love it. I think it just adds a little bit of pizzazz to my background. It reminds me of American Pickers. Do any of you guys watch American Pickers? It's one of my favourite shows. Like this video if you do. My first proper favourite is this Fujifilm Instax 210, the wide format kind of Polaroid style camera I guess. I've been wanting this for so long. You guys know I love collecting different equipment for taking pictures and different styles of pictures so I was dying to try this for more artistic pictures as well as just regular photographs that I can keep and just have because I've had a photo album lying in my flat for like two years and not one photo has been developed no matter how many memory pens or memory sticks I go to intentionally get photos printed I never do so I got this to kind of force myself and make sure that when I go somewhere quite memorable or I'm having a great time with friends that I know I have like a solid picture of it. My next few favourites are makeup favourites and I know you guys have probably already been dying to ask me what's on my lips but it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks to start with. I love these. These are just a few of the colours that I got. I'm wearing Vamp right now so it's actually quite hard to tell. I feel like they do come out a lot darker on the lips but I absolutely love these. If you'd like me to do like a swatch video because I'm pretty sure I got all the colours then let me know in the comments below. I'd love to do like a quick little swatch video where you see all the colours on my lips and maybe like a mini review. Let me know. I've also been loving the shadows. I got two of the little palette holders and I have some mattes in one so these are my mattes, they're the colours, and um, these two colours I'm wearing on my eyes today. Oh, these three colours actually. And then I have my kind of shimmers and pigments in this other one. So I've been loving these. I actually love the palettes themselves. They're really easy, they're magnetic, and the shadows pop out of them really easily. All these products that I've tried from Anastasia Beverly Hills so far have been amazing. The shadows are buttery soft, the dark colours don't have any fallout, they're long lasting, they're beautifully in intense shades and the lipsticks are amazing as well they're so pigmented one swipe and you get really really strong vivid color and it doesn't dry out your lips even though they're a matte finish I feel like they're really comfortable to wear all day long the only thing is they're not particular like they don't stain the lips which is a good thing but if you're eating and drinking you do definitely have to top up or even just after a few hours you do have to top up because they will fade but I don't mind that because it's really hard to find a comfortable matte lipstick to wear that doesn't dry out your lips during the day. And funnily enough, when I take this off, my lips actually feel really, really soft. They're not at all chipped or cracked. I'm wearing the shade Vamp, so it does come out a lot darker on the lips. But these are totally easy to apply. Brown. Anastasia Beverly Hills makeup, big thumbs up. I will definitely be buying more of them. The next favorite of mine is super affordable and I actually bought it from the recommendation of a Facebook friend, which is the only reason I tried it because I have tried all of the most expensive felt tip, brush tip, black liquid liners on the market. I've tried cheap ones, I've tried horrifically expensive ones. None of them have worked. The Kat Von D one had a lovely brush, kind of crappy product. Um, I've tried the Ico one, just did not do anything for me at all. I've also tried the L'Oreal Slim Liner ones or something like that. All crap. I would say I'm a really experienced liquid slash gel user so I know what I want for my eyeliner. And funnily enough, I found it in this Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner. This is the best one that I've used. It takes all the boxes for me and it's from Maybelline. It's the Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner and I believe it comes in like a thick one and a thin one. And these are quite hard to find. They were sold out at my stand but I looked in the drawers, had a read around and I found them. So if you never see anything on the stand, just open up the little drawers at the bottom and you might find some extra stock. So that's what I did and I think this was only about six pounds max 
and I love it. The product glides on, you can layer it without it kind of going crackly and flaking off. The color is really dark, but it doesn't leak into any fine lines once it's on the eye at all. The brush is super, super thin. It's a felt tip liner, which I was like, mm, this couldn't be that good, but actually it's perfect. You can get it so thin to the point where it's just right next to the lashes. You can barely notice it at all, which is what I was looking for. But the angle of it also makes it really easy to do kind of thicker cat eyes as well it just does it all the product is beautifully dark it doesn't flake up if you try and layer it it doesn't like get dry and patchy looking at all it lasts all day saying that I do use a primer on my lids because I have oily eyelids so that helps it stay on as well I don't think it would stay on as well if my lids were oily all day but it's an absolutely brilliant one for kind of a drugstore affordable one it's definitely way better than any of the Ico or Kat Von D ones out there and I've had it for maybe two or three weeks now and it hasn't dried out and the felt tip hasn't gone weird on me so really 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 recommend this one and totes affordable. Another favourite of mine which you might have noticed while I was waving my hands around is my Daniel Wellington watch. I've been wearing this non-stop. It's just a really really classic watch. It has um, a black leather strap. I got the slightly larger faced one that's actually for men but I just think it looks really cool and chic and I didn't think it would do kind of that much for me. I've been wearing that absolutely non-stop and I got mine from Campbell Jewelers in Dublin. The lovely folks over at Campbell Jewelers actually gave me a 15% discount code for you guys if you want any of the Daniel Wellington watches. So you'll get the discount and free UK or Irish shipping if you use the code TARMER. I've also got an app favourite which I've been using over the last week. It's a Schnapps app and it's basically an app for cataloguing and categorising all your favourite things and also looking at other people's lists and shelves. Basically it's sort of like Pinterest and Instagram all in one. So you have your little profile and everything is kind of on a shelf so you can create like a makeup shelf or a fashion shelf and you basically just create your own lists or catalogue your own items. So I've started a makeup collection one. I've started cataloguing my makeup into a shelf because I have so much makeup and I ever only use a small number of products and I want to start using what I have. So now every time I use something I'm going to catalogue it and then when I'm kind of stuck for a look or I'm not quite sure what I have and I want to branch out a little bit, instead of rooting through all my makeup I'm just going to go onto my makeup shelf and see what I have and and just be like, oh, I have that. I'm going to use that today. Basically, it has like an Instagram page where all the people you follow will be on there as well as a explore page. So you'll have like sneaker shelves, beauty shelves, women's style shelves, even like a haul section. So you can just go through and see pictures of people's like makeup hauls. It's a fun little app and it appeals to the OCD in me. So give me a follow. I will leave my profile also the link to download the app in the down bar below and we can connect. Favourite show of the month is definitely The Walking Dead. It took a mid-season break, but now it's back again and I've been glued to it. I just think it's so cosy just sitting up by our new fake fire and watching The Walking Dead when it's all cold and rainy outside. I don't know. I just absolutely love that show. So that was it, guys. That was my February favourites. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to catch me in my next video. I will see you all soon and I hope you've had an awesome day. Peace. Calling when you've had a few Cause I always